Hello everybody and welcome to Retro Bear and another video here on YouTube. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and bonjour, guten tag, guten abend, um, bienvenue and hello and various other languages. Uh, nanu, nanu possibly as well uh, for all you older viewers out there. Um, hi, once again, welcome along. Uh, if you are here first time, uh, thank you very much indeed for clicking that button and immediately regretting it um, and also if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much indeed for popping back a um, lot to get through uh, this week not as much um, as I initially planned on doing however I will assure you this is the tightest 3 hours and 63 minutes 43 minutes you'll find on YouTube I didn't make a mess of that um, but yes I know my videos are long but they have a purpose um, so you're aware, in the background of the beautiful looking um, Little King story on the Wii, if you don't own this game by the way, um, why the bloody hell not if you have a Wii? Uh, this is, at the moment, I think you can get it for about a quid at CEX, get a copy of it. If you like Pikmin, this is the sort of thing to go for. Um, really, really good game. As you can see, wonderful, loving introduction here. Uh, I think at some points that stops and then the game will just sit there. But um, yeah, recommend you probably have a look at this when I finish talking um, or go back and watch it and just mute the sound. But it's beautiful to look at, lovely looking game. So yes, a lot to get through. I have notes. You always have notes in these things. I uh, hope you've been well anyway uh, since we last spoke. Um, and again, thank you very much, first of all, to everybody. And I've been desperately trying to think of the best... Um, best word to describe this um basically shouting out people and then people then shout you out so what is the the correct term is it re-shouted because you've got tweet and retweet uh or is it shotten so thank you to everybody who's shotten me out that probably sounds a bit rude actually but there you go uh um, in response to those i've had some uh, great messages back from people who were very appreciative of that um rk retro game was over in america uh, lovely message sent back and they did appreciate the the extra bounce at some of the uh uh our, viewers from last week and uh, week four picked up so that's really nice to see uh and yes brilliant so that's really going on really well great to see other people sort of uh, uh contributing to that and re uh, shouting out i've had a benefit because i've, I've just this past uh, 24 hours gone past 150 subscribers which is fantastic because at one point in march i was struggling in the late 80s so uh, thank you very much indeed if you've been spreading the news on the channel spreading the videos around it, it's greatly appreciated uh I will say we know like everybody else we don't do it for the subscriptions we just do it because we do what we love and we love what we do uh, but it my god it is nice when they do you know you do get some subscribers and some interest in your channel uh my next milestone in terms of getting there will be 250 so i made a big deal of 1500 i'm not going to bother now until we get to 250 uh but thank you again everybody else from me to you and going from there uh also just uh aware as well i'm not wearing a knockoff adidas t-shirt i'm aware there are four stripes in the front of this not three uh but he's actually a um uh, four candles t-shirt if you're a big fan of the two ronnies we've heard of that sketch one of the most famous sketches of all time uh, that's where this comes from no gaming t-shirt this week um whatever reason right so um let's get on with three things i want to do this week uh, first thing is, is to sort of follow up a video which um, um gernaldinho did if, i'll put the link in the, the channel uh, a couple of weeks ago he did a fantastic video we went in the cx and spent a tenner on a number of games from a number of systems at the end of that video he said he wasn't going to keep any of them because he didn't really have a need for them and what he was going to do uh, was donate those games to a charity which is What's happened? Oh, I was moving around. Um, <laughs> I saw this image on the screen. I thought, oh, that crashed. No, it's just moving around. There's a cow there. Lovely. Um, and he's going to, he uh, sort of mentioned him to charity which is very close to hearts, which is called Mutts in Distress, which I'll also put a link through. And I got in contact with Gernaldini and said, look, I've got some games that are, are sort of simply knocking around in my collection. I've got... Um, and they are doubles, there's no real value to them, I'm not holding them for a particular reason, I was going to drop into a charity shop, I thought, well, uh, I'm being a dog lover myself, I thought, well, I'd like to send him the the, the, the uh, games, if you, uh, this charity want them, and ask him to pass them on, they uh, said, yes, that'd be lovely to do that, so uh, there'll be a package going out to Gernaldinho later on this week, and really just sort of say, if you have any games in your collection that you have no need for, um, whether they're doubles like mine, where you bought them by mistake, you don't need them, or whether they've got, you know, the you're not using for any particular reason holding on for trade or, or whatever i know we all have trade piles and things like that for people that want to get cx credit but if you have any games like that get into contact with gernaldinho drop him a line and just say look you know i've got these games here that i don't want uh would you you know this charity be very interested because as, as as he said in his video she runs this charity at a massive loft but she cannot bear to see a dog 
not being cared for and I think that's very, very important and I think also riding this wonderful tsunami of shouting people out and getting community together even you know if you can spare anything get in contact with him um, or if you want to get in contact with me I, I can sort of speak to him as well and, and if there's anything you can do just just please give if you want to do a cash donation there's a way to do that I think via PayPal as well um, but that will all be on their website uh, but it would be nice to do likewise you know I'm not going to think anything less of you if you don't want to do something like that you're quite happy to do so but um, I think as we now in a sort of the right frame of mind that would be a nice thing to do so that's I should have done that in my last video so good on apologies but there you go mate um, hopefully we can generate a little bit of interest on this one now shout out time I mean, gradually becoming the most important part of these videos. I've written quite a few things down this week. I'm not going to shout out everybody on here uh, because I'd like to hold off and, and then sort of do a few more in and, and keep keep the the bounce going. Um, I'm not saying I'm running out of people to shout out, but having uh, sort of gone through uh, sort of bits and pieces over the weekend, I'm thinking well I could just stagger it a little better. So what I'm going to do at the moment, I'm going to shout out four channels which I'd like to go and have a look at. Uh, I'd also like to say a big hello to an old friend, which I'm hoping he's become a regular part of the shout outs. Uh, but for whatever reason, milestones or, or something they've done, or whatever, fantastic uh, achievements and, and things like that, um, or you may have missed him first time around. And also, I'd like to give a shout out to a channel which I subscribe to, um, but as far as I'm aware, do not subscribe to me. But it's a channel I enjoy watching, and I think that it would appeal to people who watch my videos. And then you can go along and say, Retro Bear sent you, and they'll have no idea what you're talking about. Oh yes, we are ramping it up. Um, so first, um, a shout out this week goes to uh, You've Been Gamed, which is a fab. You've Been Gamed, which is a fabulous name for a channel. It really is. Um, he does loads of gameplay. If gameplay is your thing, and you're going to think, oh, well, pickups. Well, no, I enjoy watching gameplay as well. He does some amazing stuff. Um, he does uh, Amiga. He does Super Nintendo. He does Mega Drive. He just does Spectrum one at the weekend. He's head over heels. He's also done for those of you interested in the recent Resident Evil. Evil. Hello. Now they haven't. They're over there, mate. What are you about? Ah, there you go. No, the Wii remote had turned itself off. I think that's what you'll find. Mm. Anyway. Ah, um. Wonder how long that was up there without me noticing. Okay, I was on a roll then. Right, you've been going. I'm really sorry about this. So you've been going. He's also done a, a, a recent play, recent playthroughs on the new Resident Evil 2 remake, which came on PS4. Give him some, give him some joy, uh, some love. Bring him into to what we've been doing recently because he's got a great channel and uh, he does some great things. The nostalgia half an hour, which is what he calls his videos, really worth checking out. Knows his stuff. Plays some great games. Um, he, he played Wings a few months ago, which I absolutely loved. Uh, and I, I think, you know, he'd, he'd be very uh, appreciative. And, and like me, you, know, you do these videos, and then sometimes you wonder, is anybody actually watching uh, what I'm doing? But, yeah, so so bring him into the community, folks. Oops, you could, you could really, really would uh, love to hear from you. If you enjoy what he's doing, pop by and say hi, and say Retro Bear sent you. And he will know what you're talking about this time. Uh, next up is a new channel that I've picked up recently, which is called Bin Boot Sale Picking. That's a catchy name if I've ever heard one. Uh, and this is exactly what it is, uh, boot sale pickups. Doesn't it exactly, does exactly what it says on the tin. It is a brilliant little uh, channel, short videos. Uh, and again, not just associated with games. This is another sort of thing which sort of comes. It's not all gaming stuff that I, I tend to get watched and interested in. Um, that's gone dark, the television broken. Um, oh, there we go, lovely. It's gonna cycle around again. Um, Yes, so bin boot sale picking, car boot sale pickups, not just games, some uh, gadgets and DVDs and stuff. If you like that sort of thing, then uh, that, that's for you. And it keeps relatively short videos uh, and some really interesting stuff. Got some great games at last weekend. He got, he got some games for absolute peanuts. And as you know, um, I do love peanut picking ups. Oh, yes. Uh, some games for 20 pence and some really good titles as well so pop along have a look at his channel um like i said he's relatively new just starting out or, or just got a low number of subscribers so pop along and uh, see what you think uh, i'm also going to say hello on a very serious thing to uh, woolly weeble i'm, I'm going to put these in the channel um again same sort of thing car boot sale pickups but also for uh, as we've been boot sale picking uh, picking up themselves but also uh, for trading uh, woolly weevils he's been going for quite some time he's been from videos about sort of, uh, two three four years so he's been here quite a bit he's got a, a nice level of subscribers but obviously i think um this would appeal to a lot of you out there who enjoy my videos same sort of thing picking things up and again they're very very short not unlike my videos so if that's the sort of thing you want a short quick pick up video then that's the sort of thing to uh, watch um he got a ps3 a couple of weeks ago from a car boot which 
did very well and, and managed to make a nice, a nice little profit at CEX. So uh, well done to you, sir. And I do hope that uh, some of my subscribers and viewers of this video will pop along and see what you're all about. And the last shout out this week goes to, and I'm hoping I pronounce this right, uh, Gaz Cavalera who also describes himself as the Angry Scouse Gamer. Uh, and I think if you watch some of his uh, Gaddish playthrough videos, you can understand that. Uh, but basically, he doesn't say anything that none of us have done when we played games before. So that does come with a warning that there's some extremely strong and, and some you may find offensive language on his channel. But please don't let it put you off, because he does some lovely gameplays. Uh, he played Ghouls and Ghosts this past weekend, which, as you can imagine, uh, set forth a fury of four-letter words. Uh, but you can understand that if you play the game yourself, then uh, you'll be sitting there doing exactly the same sort of thing. But, not to be undeterred, he will be uh, attempting to play through it again at some point in the future. Um, well done, mate. I, I think it's, it's, it's a worth it going, because uh, those are tough games to crack both of those. Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, he also does pick up videos, he's interested in sort of toys and, and also does plushies, which is the word I can't stand, but um, he's got lots of those. Also the games as well. Last video we did for pickups, he actually went, he was in Berlin, I think with his girlfriend, and they were going around the flea markets there, picked up five games at an absolute bargain price. Uh, 12 and a half minute video on his channel, do pop by and check that one out as well. And go through some of the videos, he's a really nice guy. Um, again, like me, been doing this probably about a year, and like me, still trying to sort of find our our feet and what works, and listens to what people uh, advice they're given, and, and yeah, he's got a nice little channel. Um, so go and pop along and give Gaz some support. So those are your four shout outs this week. Um, a big hello to an old friend, um, and a, uh, much congratulations to Retro Dude, who has been mentioned many times on his channel, uh, so much so that people think he's getting royalties. No, he's not. Um, but he's just gone past 500 subscribers uh, this past week. The guy does a tremendous amount of stuff on his channel. I mean, honestly, he puts my, my content to shame. Uh, he does pickup videos, he does bits of news, uh, he does live chats, as, as we may have mentioned, I've all been on one. He's also done uh, one with, I think, Retro, Retro Future 2 Gaming or something like that. Really sorry if I got your channel wrong there. I will obviously try and make amends for that at some point in the future. Um, he's done that before as well, but he also does a, a huge amount of live streams. And, and I don't know how the guy manages to fit a ball in. He's absolutely bionic in terms of what he, the content he's putting out. Uh, he's done a five. He's got five hundred. He's really, really earned his chalk on that one. Uh, yes, some of the jokes um, are older than the games he has, but you can't help but love the guy. He's a he's a real star, and uh, the enthusiasm he has for what he does is he, unbelievable. Uh, so, uh, retro dude, thumbs up to you, mate. Well done for the five hundred. Uh, I know a lot of you do subscribe to his channel. If you don't, pop along and have a look because uh, the guy is uh, gradually becoming a bit of a legend. And so on to the final shouting out of this week, and this is the channel that I very much enjoy watching, um, but I don't actually, um, I'm not aware that they subscribe to me. Uh, and this is a channel called James Collects, who's been doing uh, pickups and boot sale videos and loot crate unboxings and buy stuff for himself and also uh, trades in for CEX credit. I picked this channel probably about eight, ten months ago, just watching endless car boot videos, which he hasn't done for a long time now. Um, and I really enjoyed those, and they're great informative things. He picks up some marvellous stuff. Again, not just games, it's also toys and, and, and uh, things like that. Also, uh, I think he's done, he bought, I think he, he's the walk guy does the Walkman as well. He's got really sort of uh, old Sony Walkmans and things and CD players. And he's picked up video cassettes, blank video cassettes and blank audio cassettes. So pop along and tell him that Retro Bear sent you because he'll have no idea what you're talking about. But yeah, I think for those who enjoy following my channel, uh, there's another one there. And he's got, I think he's got a couple of thousand half subscribers. So he's, he's doing all right for himself. I think when I first started watching him, he had about three to three hundred. So uh, he's really grown his channel there. Uh, pop along and, and have a look that certainly will be something if you enjoy this sort of channel then um that's worth pep uh, popping out so to everybody who mentioned uh, in this video uh, greetings uh bienvenue and salutations to you all uh and if you do find any of those channels of interest do subscribe pop them a message and that'd be great there will be some more shout outs in the next video piece of paper aside now um this was going to be a two-part video this week what two parts of three hours long are you sure yes absolutely um, but there was a slight hiccup at the weekend. I was going to go, I did actually go to a car boot yesterday, um, but there was absolutely nothing there. I'm not sure that's because we left it quite late. We left it a lot later than I would like to have gone. Usually I tend to like to sort of saunter in about sort of 8.30. Uh, this was a car boot which starts at 6, but it's like 20 miles from here. Uh, but I've now found there's one a bit close to home, which might try recent, uh, uh, next few weeks. We got there about half past nine. My theory of sort of waltzing in and sort of saying, well, 
most of the stuff that people leave behind is the stuff that people don't want. They're going to go at six o'clock in the morning and get all the decent stuff for three pence or, or wherever they try and rip people off. Or no, I don't mean that. But um, yeah, the, the, you know, the people refer to them as vultures. I mean, if they want to get up at six o'clock on a Sunday morning uh, and argue the toss over somebody about eBay prices where they could both happily sit at home in front of computers, I'll leave that up to them. It's entirely <laughs> entirely down to you. I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, so my theory is sort of sauntering along at sort of like nine o'clock and or eight between eight and nine and getting whatever was left over didn't work because there was nothing. Um, the most exciting thing I saw was a Star Wars Angry Birds on 360, which had a copy of Garfield to the film inside it. Yeah, not good, not good. Um, so yeah, a bit of a waste of time. There was going to be like a I was going to try and like do a an occasional car boot series video, but I think I just lumped those in with my regular stuff. So it's a good job I went out on Saturday. Uh, and around my usual places but not an extensive uh, shop because i did take in a huge amount of wrestling dvds i didn't mention this last week i was going to try and trade them in i estimated the value to be 180 to 120 pounds i didn't take into account the fact that seven of those uh, i couldn't trade in no it's there um were uh, american ones so i couldn't trade those in at all i may try and sell those privately i may not so I ended up trading about 40 odd in for, and I got £98.71 store credit, which I don't think was bad going. Most of them were sort of clocking in about three or four quid. I hate to think how much money I've spent them in the past, but there we go. Uh, they were just sitting there, not really doing anything. I've got a lot of that stuff I'm interested in on, on digital downloads anyway, so I ain't bothered about that. So £98.71 of what is technically then free money, and that will be going into buying some um, Wii games, if I can find any that um, sort of cost a little bit more. Um but I don't sort of blow it all on three of them because that would be really silly. I've still got other DVDs on a trading. I, I know there's probably going to be about 100 quid's worth of stuff there at a push up between 100 and 150. I don't know until I tot it all up, but I know um, there is some value in those and they'll be going down uh, probably when I work through the credit. I have worked through some of that credit already, which I'll come to in a minute. However, I'm going to get the non um, Wii pickups. That's a long way now. I forgot my table again. I had a table last week. I wanted a table. I put them on there, the camera's going to wobble. I'll just have to balance them on my knee and hope you can't see them too much. And there we go. And they'll all fall on the floor in a minute and then you'll laugh. And there we go. Um, right, so what have we got this week? So I did actually do... Um, these have mostly come from... Uh, actually, these have come from either cash converters or a little um, pawnbroker shop in one of the towns I go to. I didn't do any charity shops because I, th I was saving me money for um, car booting and then when he got to the point of doing car booting there wasn't anything to do so I actually bought um, nothing so look I went out because otherwise it'd be a really short video which they'll be saying yes finally he's doing short videos um, as we all say with car boots the plan was to, to go and sort of really hit them hard but of course the best laid plan of mice men and retro bears ok na age and yes that is me quoting late 1990s Eddie Izzard Okay, so PlayStation 3 first, a couple of games for you. And I've already got this on PlayStation 2, so why the bloody hell did I pick it up again? Oh, I know why, because it was 49 pence. And this is Mercenaries 2, which I think was... I remember seeing the advert for it on the telly, we sort of blow it up, blow it up some more. And that sort of thing really appeals to me. Um, but 49 pence, what can you do for 49 pence nowadays? Absolutely nothing. So there we go, 49p, um, and also a game I had originally, which I then appear to have traded in, uh, and I now got again, and this is also 49 pence, and this is the very first motor store game for the PlayStation 3. I've already got Pacific Rift, and I think there's a third one knocking around, and also one on the PlayStation 2 as well. Uh, but this was a great game when it launched, because nobody really gave it much of a... A bit of a funny case as well, actually. Uh, nobody actually gave it much of a thought when it was a launch title, they were like, oh, it's a generic racing game. Um, but actually, it was one of the better ones. So very, very much worth your while checking that one out. Again, 49 bloody pence. What are you going to do? Eh? What can you complain about for 49 pence? Nothing. And if you do, you're a fool. Um, now, the rest, uh, the, those two came out of cash converters. This also came out of cash converters as we move on to the Xbox 360, segueing seamlessly into the next system. Um, and this is Just Dance 3 Special Edition. And some of you have already had a warning there of some dancing games in here. Not the greatest copy in the world. I've had to take some paint off the front of the cover. I did paint on a game? What are you doing? Ugh. 
I mentioned that months ago. There's a, a, a charity shop near me. Led a PlayStation Two game with white paint. Yes, it was white paint splattered across the front of it. This was like, you know, you know when you get that paint dries and it, it's like not gloss paint and you've got a really rough feel into it. Yeah, it's all over the front of this. That was ninety nine pence. It is complete. Um, yeah, it looks absolutely fine. Lovely just just dance games. Uh, can't say wrong fairer than that. And I think that goes for about four or five quid usually. So it's a good bargain on that one. Like I said, a bit of a ropey copy, but it'll do. Um, also got uh, WWE Legends of WrestleMania, which is a game I've been after for quite some time. Uh, I know it's crap because I played the demo when it first came out and was distinctly unimpressed, but for 50 pence, I thought, well, it's now worth a shot, isn't it? Um, huge number of uh, classic stars, if you like, uh, just run Steve Austin, Hulk Hogan, Under the Giant, The Rock. Um, you've got Big Boss Man, Jake the Snake, Mr. Perfect, the Road Warriors, or the Legion of Doom, depending on, on what you know. The Undertaker, uh, Bret Hart, uh, Randy Orton, uh, the Ultimate Warrior, Sergeant Slaughter, and Jimmy Schnooker. Loads of uh, uh, sort of things there, but it was a really poor game. I'm going to really, really get very excited about it because I'm going to use classic commentary, and, and um, it just didn't. I tried to play the first game, and it just didn't work. But 50p, there you go. What are you going to do about it? And then finally, uh, more dancing games and another really ropey looking copy. This one, I'm going to give this a good clean out. Uh, this is Zumba Rush, which has nine, no, not nine, no manual. I've had nine manuals, and we'll be sort of open, wouldn't it? Um, which cost me all of 50p, which is great, because I've got one Zumba game on the 360 already. I've now got four Zumba games. Oh, yes, I've dropped one. There we go. I told you I'd drop one, haven't I? Ugh, one thing after another right um yeah it's a really ropey nasty old copy this one but it was 50p uh this is actually pretty good condition uh, and it's also got your favorite favorite zumba instructors um beto tanya gina cass jason and erica really pleased to see erica's in that one um so is your favorite zumba instructor that's like having a favorite brick um anyway yeah there we go. Um, so those are the 360. Not many this week, thank goodness, because I've got nowhere to put the buggers. Um, but they are so cheap, aren't they? I just keep saying PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 is so cheap at the moment. Um, it's impossible to ignore it. And I swear my local crash converters keeps putting extra games in the, in the, the pound or less bin. I've asked them to name it the Retro Bear bin, but they don't know what I'm talking about anyway. Um, so PS2 pickups, there are some of those this week. There's always PS, always PS2 pickers. I got these from a, a little porn broker I go to. They have not as many games as they used to um, anymore, but they do have sort of really good titles coming in. And again, I think probably on some of these, I've, and again with those uh, ones I made, then I probably made a little bit of you know the value is higher than I paid for them, which is good. If I'm not paying the market value in place like CEX or eBay, then I'm doing quite well. Um, and this is the game I've been after for quite some time, actually, and this is Space Race, Looney Tunes Space Race, we can see that, there we go. Which also came out on the Dreamcast, first of all. Um, the disc, you probably can't see there, but it's got some, really, it has some, I don't know, really sticky stuff. I've gone over it with something else, and it's now sort of smoothed out a little bit, but it's never gonna come off. I've taken the stickiness out of it, but right bloody mess. Um, also as well I mentioned a few videos ago that they'd started writing the prices on the top in pen and they'd done that again luckily I caught them and they managed to wipe them all off um, it's might be a good game if a little repetitive in terms of stupid game um, in terms of uh, the phrases and the character things but yeah, it looks quite good it, it gets, gets pretty favourable right up so that was a quid I've been after that for some time uh, this one I was quite surprised at finding which is James Pond um, codename Robocod now for those of you of my generation who remember the James Pond games coming out of the Amiga and the Mega Drive it still have the manual and the disc this is also uh, but this has come out from a company called Play It who I'm pretty sure responsible for some pretty shitty looking games um, and playable games on the PlayStation 2. Uh, it looks all right from the back of the cover. I'm not sure how it plays. I've got no real idea. I didn't even know it existed. Uh, well, I did pay a quid for that, which is uh, a fairly decent pickup. I wasn't a fan of James Bond. I've got to be honest with you. I wasn't one of the series that I particularly enjoyed back in back in the day. Um, there's some Disney games for you. Um, first up is Piglet's Big Game. And this was a quid. Again, Disney games always seem to hold their value. This one, I think, is usually about 250 in CX. Um, Piglet's big chance to be a hero. Pooh and his friends need Piglet's help to chase away heffalumps and woozles. 
If Piglet overcomes his fears, he will prove that the hero is not measured by his size, but by his heart. And it looks like that. So, yeah, a bit of Disney fun there for you. It's a quid. In it goes. Um, this one, you may or may not know this is a Disney film. This is Treasure Planet. I'm not sure how many of you have actually seen this film at all. I saw it when it first came out, and it was not great, not memorable in the slightest. Uh, but for those of you who've got the Blu-ray Steel book, you're sitting on um, what well, technically at the moment is about a forty-pound uh, D uh, forty-pound Blu-ray because it's worth quite a bit of money at the moment. This I thought might be worth quite a bit of money being an obscure Disney film. You think about uh, Disney's Hercules games and the PlayStation one. No, this is about what I paid for it, which is a quid. Boo earns, and there was some distinctly strange brown stuff on the back of it. Don't worry, it's rubbed off. Um, I didn't smell it. Now, I think it was just dirt on it, just a little bit of dirt, so I will clean it off anyway. <sighs> I have to buy my games from somewhere better than the local pawn shop. Um, and then finally, Winnie the Pooh's Rumbly Tumbly Adventure. Ah, yeah, can't beat a bit of Winnie the Pooh. Uh, so much for saying these Disney games hold their value because I paid 50p for this and, and it's no more than 75p in CX. So, ah, well, but it's Winnie the Pooh, everybody loves Winnie the Pooh. Um, how can you resist a face like that? Look, look, there he is. Look, I mean, look at the cake. Look at that. Wow. Um, and he's got another cake. He eats a lot of cake. I thought he ate a lot of honey, but no. Bears eat cake by the looks of it. Uh, so, yeah, so those, that was £4.75 for those um, five PlayStation 2 games. Again, they're coming under a quid. Um, I've got three Xbox 360 games for two quid and two PlayStation games for 98 pence. So a grand total there of, uh, what was it, 4 dollars uh, about about seven seven fifty spent. And there was 10 games there for it, which is working out at 75p each. That's not bad going, and there's some good games in there as well. Right, so um, now moving on to the important part of the CEX credit now. What have I bought with some CEX credit? I bet you're wondering and can't wait to see what they are. Um, yeah, so I picked up uh, not as many games as I would like to have done because there wasn't really an awful lot I wanted to spend my money on. And I decided, uh, buyers sort of dread coming over. I thought, well, do I now start picking up the big hitters? Um, in which case, uh, I'd get four or five games if I was lucky. Or do I sort of buy games that appeal to me, or just buy games that are a decent value? I sort of said, well, I'll try and keep it to about a tenner. I don't want to sort of blow everything all at once. Uh, I won't spend more than the tenner of the store, but unless I absolutely justify the need to. Uh, because I think, look at games like Mario Party 8 and 9, I've got 8 as a loose disc anyway, but 9 is like 22 quid, and I'm thinking, pff, I, I just wouldn't, that would just be a complete waste. Buy something else that I might get a bit more joy out of. Uh, and none of my local CXs have got any of the real big hitters. I'm thinking things like Pandora's Tower, which if I did see, I think it's priced at 22 quid at the moment. But I did see it the week before, last week, uh, in the cash converters in one of the, the that town I went to. Uh, but I wasn't going to pay 30 quid for it, and that was out of my own pocket, so I wasn't going to pay that full stop. If it's free money, I'll do it. Uh, so Pandora's Tower, I think the nearest one to me is about 15 miles away. I don't, can't really justify sort of going 15 miles for one game. So they've got nothing else there. I'm not going to go and sort of walking around charity. The idea is to use this credit over the next couple of weeks or so, fill in my Wii collection. Uh, I might f drop in a couple of Xbox originals as well because Yorkshire lad's been doing some fantastic uh, videos about his collection and some like, hard rare to find ones. And I sort of realised that most of the hard rare to find ones I haven't got, and I've got all the easy ones. Ah, well, as it is. Uh, so these are the Wii games that I got. One moment. That's a long way down. Oh. God. oh. I'll do that one last of all. Apologise to the camera wobble. There we go. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Uh, right, so um, these were all from CEX, uh, from two different branches, because the one I went into where I actually traded all my stuff in and got the games I wanted. Uh, so the first one up, uh, which I knew existed, but I'm very surprised that it does exist, because I'm really struggling with this one. This is Guitar Hero Van Halen. Um, and it does sound the back 25 epic Van Halen and three Eddie Van Halen signature solos. I, I honestly, I would challenge you to name more than than than. I, I can name probably two of these in the back of here. I mean, it's such an obscure title for guitar here. I mean, I know they did Metallica and Aerosmith. I've got Aerosmith, which is you know I don't know. I hate Aerosmith. It's not a bad game, um, but you know, uh, I mean. Rock Band did ACDC and Green Day, didn't they? That's a bit more like it. I mean, Van Halen is such a bloody left-field choice for that. It's also, I'm not sure whether it's a French version, but there's an awful lot of French writing on the back of it as well. 
Uh, it also includes 19 rocking guest artists. And again, I'm not going to go through the entire list there, but I think it's four songs I've heard of. So this to me has probably got the most uninteresting lineup since Guitar Heroes Warriors of Rock, which I've tried to play and I just don't know that. I think it helps if you know the tunes. If you know the tune, tunes, the songs. Um, I don't know many of these, so. But it was 250, and it was one of the Guitar Hero games I'm missing, so I'll put it now. Uh, oh, you'll like this one. No, you won't. I'll do that one in a minute. Um, Iron Man 2 for two quid. I think. Um, no manual, which is really annoying because there were two copies in there. One which looked like it had been dredged from the bottom of the ocean, which probably had the manual in it. Uh, this one was a better looking copy. Not brilliant by any stretch of the imagination, but um, no manual with that one, so that's really annoying. Uh, I've got the first one of those, so I think that's both Iron Man games I've got now. Uh, da, 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 da. And then this one, which I think is going to. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you laugh. Um, I. I I walked past this at five quid a few months ago. It's come down to three fifty now, which is now got that that fare, which is a bit more acceptable. Uh, and it's Country Dance. Wow! Didn't even know this game existed till a few months ago. Uh, <laughs> I can almost hear the, the the collective sound of hands fitting foreheads up and down the country, and people reaching for the off button. Again, it's one of these sort of obscure titles with 25 chart topping hits, but the most important thing is I can recognise more artists on the back of this one and actually more songs. About four, I think. Which is better than Van Halen, anyway. Um, yeah, look, I mean, it's, it's obscure, it's country dancing. I, I might play it once. Uh, that was 350, which I thought, well, I've, never, I've only seen that in the one shop. I've never seen it anywhere else. I'm not sure whether it, it can't be that rare and click It's like 350, but a few months ago it was five quid. Um, so that was uh, three fifty-five fifty. That was seven fifty, um, and then uh, da, 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 and then we got to twenty quid in another shop. In fact, I think that might have been two fifty Iron Man, two fifty Van Halen. There might be eight fifty. I don't know. Eight fifty, I think, and I got twenty quid here. Uh, so the other uh, CX I went into picked up first of all um, a SpongeBob game, which is SpongeBob's Atlantis Square Pantis. Uh, do like SpongeBob? I used to watch it before everybody else did. I've got one other Spongebob game for the uh, Wii which is the Boating Bash game and I've also got one for the PlayStation 2 which is Revenge of the Flying uh, Frying Dutchman uh, but yeah, love a little bit of old Spongebob uh, you can't go wrong with that so hopefully these games capture the essence of the cartoon if not I should be severely uh, not bothered next up uh, I, again I need to probably not get too blinded by the fact I've got all this money to spend and not check the quality of the games. This is TMNT or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, one of three games that I was available uh, to me with the turtles on it. Not a great looking disc, no manual, and also uh, a bit of water damage to the bottom right hand corner, which you're probably not going to be able to see because of the light. Do excuse me, I'm recording this in the evening. Uh, what time is it now? About 7:25. Uh, yeah, a bit manky in the corner there, must be honest with you. Paid two quid for it. I'm not a turtle fan by any stretch of the imagination, or in fact any imagination whatsoever. I never was when it first came out. Uh, but I haven't got any turtles names. I'm pretty sure I haven't got any turtle names. They're probably on there. No, I haven't. I haven't got any teenage mutant in the turtle game, which is fine. I can't even say it, so fantastic. Uh, and then for a fiver, um, I was really pleased to get this one. So SpongeBob was three quid. Turtles was two quid for a fiver. Uh, Crash of the Titans, uh, which I know doesn't get a very good rap at all. I haven't watched the playthrough of it. Um, yeah, I can probably see why. Um, but I love Crash Bandicoot. Played the original games on the kind of PlayStation uh, One. I've now not got any of those. I've got three games on the PlayStation Two. I've got one on the Xbox uh, original. Uh, I've got the also the uh, Switch uh, collection, which I had for Christmas. I've only played Crash Bandicoot One on so far. Let's go back and play that. Uh, but that was a fiver. Uh, so that was a uh, yeah, nice little pick up on that. Those are sort of things, you know, they're five, six quid, I don't mind getting them. But some of the sort of top end titles are beginning to go more expensive. A few months ago they dropped like Mario Galaxy had dropped to eight, Mario Galaxy 2 had dropped to ten, Mario Brothers Wii had dropped to ten, and they've, they've all creeped back up to, to ten, twelve and fifteen respectively. So uh, I don't want to sort of throw all my money in the one pot. Oh, excuse me. Oh dear. Um, and then finally it all disappears. So. Yeah, as you can see, this isn't edited out. I always say to people, don't edit stuff. Let it be sort of natural. Because it's more charming that way, or disgusting, depending on, on your view of what just happened there. But I just, this adds a personality to it. Don't worry so much about the editing. 
Um, now, the last part I'm going to show you this week, the last pickup, which thank goodness me, uh, you're probably thinking is the end of the video. Superb, lovely. I can go and do something else, um, like creosote the fence. And and this is, I don't know, I, I've seen this, not seen this before uh, in uh, person, uh, although my local CX had this for a few weeks. It's a bit tatty, but um, we'll say. And this is the Golden Eye. Uh, limited edition 007 set on the Wii, uh, which has got the Golden Classic controller in it. Now, I paid 10 nicker for this. Yep, I know, £10. As you can see from the back, it's a bit tatty at the top there. Um, I, when I got it, it was loaded game stickers. Yes, they still haunt me from beyond the grave. Oh, they're not dead yet, are they? They will be one day. But, um, yeah, it got game stickers blasted all over it. That was already torn um, anyway uh, when I took the stickers off, so... It's a little bash around the edge. He's got, I, I, you know, I know people like get these things in mint condition. I ain't seen one before, uh, so I was quite happy to get that. I've already got the game anyway, uh, and the game inside is is very much the same sort of uh, version. So there's no difference to what I've got there and what that one. But this this is what really sort of winged it for me. And of course, I don't know if you've seen. You may may have seen these before. I don't know. Um, some of you may click Wii games. Some of you may not. Uh, but this is the limited edition gold classic controller uh, and it is absolutely in bloody mint condition um, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this all the buttons as they should be uh, the uh, control controllers absolutely fine it, it is in absolutely mint condition i don't use that word very often um, in fact if anything there's dust on it it may have been used it doesn't look it's been used but it's 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 really really nice and that made that tatty box go with that nicely i may replace it with a better one i don't know going forward but ah oh, it's absolutely beautiful that's the girl to show it me to see yeah, i was so thrilled to see that it was such a good condition one um and that will be going into my collection beautifully and that also means now i've got a double of gold and i um which i should be passing on to uh, my good friend gernaldinho for um his charity so uh, which gives them a nice game, you know, they're decent game to go for. Yeah, really nice pick up on that one, and, and justifying spending 10 quid on it. Uh, you know, I've spent money on games before. I bought Wurra Master the Diva Blade for 15 quid. I bought Tatsunoku versus Capcom All Stars for 12 quid. I bought Super Mario Brothers Wii for 8 quid. So, I, I, you know, I, I do I do splash out. You know, I'm not I'm not sort of like, you know, the, as cheap as I make myself out to be. Um, but I do like bargain bins and stuff that costs peanuts great you can get more stuff honestly people go out and bowl these expensive games um and, and uh, eddie at, over at roller x core because you will always be roller x core to me uh made it you know when he um, sort of uh, shared out on his last video to me uh sort of said yeah i don't have all the big hitters but i do have some big hitters within my collection uh, i just don't buy them now uh, but i do get some seriously good bang for my book and i've always said that sometimes it is a case of quantity over quality uh, but there are some seriously good games available out there for very, very little. If you want to go and collect the, the chase the big ones, um, by all means, you know that's what that's great. You can go and do that. Uh, I have I have some really big games in my collection. I've got some of the best games for each system. Uh, people very kindly commented on my my small collection of N sixty four games. But there is Mario sixty four. There is Ocarina of Time. There is Diddy Kong Racing. There is Perfect Dark in there. So there's some real belters in those, and, and as I go through my collections more and more, uh, you will see that there are you know some of the decent games. The GameCube games, I've got about 40 games, and there are some really big titles, and again, some of the Mega Drive stuff has got some decent games on it as well. So anyway, rambling on a bit there. Um, but yes, yeah, so pleased to get that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, that completes this week's um, uh, video pickup. So thank you very much to all you um, Bearomaniacs out there for tuning in once again. Uh, once more, your support is completely and utterly appreciated. Um, it's really going very well at the moment. I'm absolutely thrilled that you guys keep tuning in week in, week out, and you keep going back for more. Uh, you deserve medals. Now, I can't provide you with any medals, but I'll just give you another video over again. And yes, that is it. So depending on what happens, I will say uh, au revoir and uh, bye bye to everybody for now. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I do hope uh, you've enjoyed it. I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.